Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have a recap video for you today. This is a video we haven't really done before, but this is a collaboration that we're doing with some other YouTubers, and this is the second part of the video. So we did a, a haul video, like a $50 challenge haul video uh, about a month ago, and us and some other YouTube friends of ours did that video, and this is the second part to that. So we're gonna show you guys what sold out of that little haul what hasn't sold and all that cool stuff don't forget to go check out the other youtubers and their videos right after you watch this one and let them know that you came from our channel that'd be awesome I'm gonna turn over to Kathy and she's gonna give you guys the numbers hey guys yeah so before we start um, if you want go to the comments and just comment what do you think we've profited so far off of our $50 thrift challenge so we spent $50 I will give you a hint there was 22 items total mm -hmm. in the haul um, and seven of them only have sold so what do you think I profited off the seven items that sold so and it's been about a month so yeah. we still have some stuff that hasn't sold so you got to think guys, about it you guys if you've been bit. watching our channel you've probably seen some of the yep. solds and can kind of yep you got it that way too you got a so. leg up on the competition <laughs> there so <laughs> all right so yeah just a quick rundown I'm gonna go through the 22 items whether or not they like where they're at even right if now they, yeah <laughs> haven't sold so yeah the first one was a Woolridge vest which I ended up actually tossing it had like some little spots on it which mm -hmm. we showed in the video Video, but I washed it and then I was picking at the spots and then I made a hole in it which was yeah just a really bad hole it probably still could have sold I'm sure someone could have put a patch but yeah. at this point it wasn't worth my time I got it from the bins I had less than two bucks into it it just wasn't worth my time so that went straight out the window um, the next thing was I got two pairs of Asics wrestling men's shoes and so we'll start either up here or up here <laughs> like a running tally so yeah. we'll start with negative 50 because that was how much we spent um both of the wrestling shoes sold on facebook and they both sold for 20 dollars. so um so we'll throw up 20 dollars, and then one of them had a dollar 29 facebook fee so negative a dollar 29 the other pair sold for 20 but had a dollar 36 facebook fee i think because <laughs> the shipping must have been more facebook does charge their or the tax or whatever facebook charges their five percent fee off the total so right the taxes can be different depending on where the buyer lived so yep so plus 20 minus a dollar 36 there um we also had a little melissa and doug plastic toy push cart thing that has not sold yet it is listed it the comps weren't great when i listed it so you know i was hoping for 10 to 15 honestly if i get six to eight bucks plus shipping at this point i'll be happy on that but yeah not sold it does have watchers and likers on all platforms i think just the the weight of it and stuff is going to be hard for that i might have to sell that one locally yeah um we sold a big mermaid squishmallow that one sold on poshmark for 14 dollars. so add 14 and then the poshmark fee um was 445 there was a little bit of a shipping discount there and whatnot and we should mention that that one did sell to a viewer yes you know not everybody has mm -hmm. a youtube channel youtube following like that but we do want to disclose things that did sell to viewers because you know it may not have so i do think it would have sold because yeah, it's a squishmallow. squishmallow i think would have yeah. there's one more sale that i'm not sure would have that sold to a viewer that right. may or may not have sold otherwise so but yeah, so that was the Squishmallow. Um, I did have an Old Navy little girl's blouse that was like Christmassy themed. I really thought that would sell not for a lot, but would have sold already because it's getting close to Christmas, but it did not. Um, so yeah, that did not sell. I'm still hoping it'll sell, but <laughs> not for a ton. Probably again, eight-ish dollars or so. Um, there was a pair of Novara. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Um, those were like men's bike shorts. Those also, I washed them and I don't know if I damaged them or what. Uh, they're still listed, but they have like a couple snags in them or mm. some, or like the string on the bottom is like coming undone, something like that. I see. So those may or may not sell. If they do sell, probably not for a ton, maybe 10 to $15. Um, there was a tank top called the magic scarf tank top new a tag that has not sold comps were not great on it once i got it listed maybe ten dollars plus shipping even though it's new a tag um 
So then we have a Chargers watch, which I think is still on this table because I have not <laughs> listed that. Uh, Chris looked it looked at it for me. It's not in working order, but we think the battery's just dead. But yeah. it's not worth our time to like put a new battery in or pay for a new battery, probably. Right. It still has so, like the the plastic yeah. that you peel off when you you know you get a new product, and it still has that on the watch back where the, you would change the battery so i'm confident it just needs a new battery because it's from like 2006 or something like that yeah so uh we just don't want to replace the battery so i haven't and listed she it doesn't really want to list it as not working not tested yeah so it's kind of in this limbo <laughs> mode i might end up <laughs> just redonating that or yeah. something i don't know what would you guys do would you would you <laughs> list it as is no battery you know just say because i think it's something that somebody would put more on a shelf yeah not something that somebody would wear I guess somebody could wear it, but, you know, battery should fix that. Know. But <laughs> let us know what you guys think down in the comments. If I do list it, it'll probably be just on Posh or Mercari, where if I get a return, I don't have to yeah. be out anything. So yeah. um, that was that. And there was a Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren purse, which actually is right here. I have not listed it yet. I actually just photographed that last night and plan to list it today or tomorrow or something. So that hasn't sold yet, but that probably would have sold had yeah. I listed it. And probably for a good amount, I would think at least 30 plus. Mm -hmm. So I wish I would have listed that. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a pair of like youth size Nike football cleats and those have not sold yet, but when they do should sell right around $20 plus shipping or so. So I'd net around 15, 16 bucks probably. A pair of Sundance sandals, those have not sold and also don't really have any interest on any of the platforms. So those may never sell, who knows mm -hmm. um, if they do sell probably a low amount, maybe $10 plus shipping or so. Um, the best sale, yeah, was the Ralph Lauren flag sweater, which I kind of knew that that would be. I mean, that purse might do better than the sweater. Yeah. We'll see. But, yeah, it was just a cream-colored Ralph Lauren sweater. It had an um, embroidered, like, flag in the middle. That one sold. I said it would sell right around 50 It sold for 46 plus shipping on Mercari. So, yeah. So, add 46 to our total, but negative 623 for the Mercari fee. Um, so that was a good one. Mm -hmm. And then I had some Timberland work boots, which are still up there, unsold. <laughs> um, those were like a composite toe, so it is a really nice boot. It's just a women's. I feel like women's Timberland doesn't do as well as men's. Right. And, you know, the work shoes are more specialized, and not everyone's looking for those. So right. they're just a little bit of a slower seller. I know they'll sell eventually. I imagine at the very least 30 plus shipping on those. Um, then we had some Red Wing Oxford shoes. Those also have not sold, but I do think they will eventually and probably, again, For no, decent, no yeah. less than 30 bucks, I would say, plus shipping. Um, we had a pair of Chuka rain flats, which I really thought would sell because I've sold them several times and they've always sold within a couple weeks. Um, mm -hmm. They were a little dirtier than I thought they were when I bought them and I couldn't really wash. Like, they're dirty, like, on the in side i don't know it was like impossible to wash where they're dirty so mm. those probably won't sell as good as i had thought maybe 10 to 15 plus ship when they do sell um one thing that did sell was those bond traeger bike shoes which yeah. i was kind of worried that those either wouldn't sell or would have a problem once they did sell like the person couldn't use them with whatever machine right, or right. bike they wanted but those sold i got paid no yeah. issues and our viewers actually told us about the the clip mechanism that it's common i think it's on like the peloton cycles and all that kind of stuff so it ha it was basically a selling point for the shoes they ha yeah. they had the the bindings with them and i think those are probably like what 15 20 bucks if you buy them new and yeah so that that's probably one of the reasons it's sold and that's awesome that our youtube community is able to help us out you know we don't need, we don't know everything yeah, we know barely I anything don't know so like a lot, yeah so. it's it's great that we can all get our collective minds together and uh, figure this stuff out that's awesome yeah and so i would definitely be more willing to pick up i see bike shoes all the time so i'd be more willing to pick them up now yeah but those sold on posh for an offer of 35 dollars. so i so at 35 but then minus seven dollars for the poshmark fee um then i sold some patagonia those super lightweight gray suede shoes um 
those sold for on eBay $32.65, so add that. But then eBay took a $4.96 fee, so negative $4.96 and negative $4.50 for the shipping fee through eBay. Um, I did find a pair of Crocs, like flats. Those did not sell yet, but <laughs> when they do, probably around 20 bucks or so plus shipping on those. It's funny because I'm pretty sure I said that those were going to be the first things that sell. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. <laughs> and they so haven't sold yet. I think they were uh, like a women's six, and those mm. just take a while yeah. to sell. So um, the other thing was a single Rothy shoe, uh, but I did not even list that. I don't know if I ever will. I just kind of threw that in my thing because I thought it was funny. And Yeah. I just They're can't so leave light. a single Rothy at the bins, like <laughs> even if I'm never gonna list it. Yeah. So, um, if I do list that, it might make something, but I'm not even gonna count that in what I think I my potential profit might be. Right, still. right, right. Um, the last couple of things, there was a the a coup, a K O O, jeans. Mm -hmm. um, those did not sell yet. I can't remember if they have any watchers or likers or anything, but comps were about 35 to 40 plus shipping. But yeah, I haven't sold yet, so let's say I can probably get at least 30 still probably on those. Um, and then the last thing was that cute little bunny suit, which did sell again to a viewer. So that's the one I was saying may or may not have sold if it wasn't to a viewer. I do think it would have sold closer to Easter, but how fast it sold, I was surprised, but yeah. that went to our viewers. So um, <laughs> she had bought a bundle of eight, so I wasn't sure how to like break down the pricing because right. it would have been tricky to figure out the percentage and everything like that a month later. So um, what I did was the total that I made profit on that bundle was 97.36, and then I just divided it by eight, so. Yeah. Um, which came out to a 1217 profit for just the bunny outfit. So at 1217, I think that puts us at $150.03 profit. So plus getting our initial $50 back. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And then out of 22 items, again, only seven have sold. You know, we did toss out the one. I might toss out the watch and the Rothy. Um, but. So that's still, what, 7, 22 minus 7, 15 minus maybe another, was it just two more items that I said I might throw out? Yeah, I think 13, so. so. Another 13 items, uh, what I put as my very low potential profit that I think I'll make is about $200, but mm -hmm. probably more. That was like saying Crocs would be like a $10 profit and stuff, which right. I think will be more. So, yeah. For a $50 thrift challenge, you know, we've already in one month made three times our money mm -hmm. um, profit and with another probably 200 coming in whenever. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> I definitely don't think that we did the best. I'm going right. to be watching the rest of the videos all day, but um, I'm surprised I didn't even think I sold that much. So, uh, yeah, that's why... I do like the bins in that regard. Like everything was so cheap that once you saw one or two items, you pretty much have your investment back and then who cares how long the rest takes to sell. Yeah, as long of. as you have the space to store it, you can yeah. hang on to it and so, list it forever. I might go drop some of the prices on the other stuff and just kind of move it since I know I'm in the profit. And yeah, yeah so. <laughs> So yeah, that kind of wraps up our one month update. I don't think we're gonna have any more updates, but I think it's safe to assume we'll probably make at least another 80 to 100 bucks with the other stuff that we have uh, to list or have to sell still. Um, all right, guys, that is it. So we're going to call it here. Don't forget to go check out the other uh, collaborators' videos and see who won. I think we have to uh, send the winner uh, a thrifted item. So I'm not quite sure on that. It might be from this haul. It might be from something else. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.